Hi, this is Mike Foreman with Navy Region Northwest. Today I'm going to cover epi injection in case of anaphylaxis. Previously we used the epi pen, but due to cost we switched to uh, the manual way of doing it by drawing the drug. This should be on your engines and ladder trucks. Okay, as you open your epinephrine injection kit, all the items should be the same. They may be placed a little differently than in yours but the inventory should be the same. We'll start at the top. This is your pediatric dosing scale. It gives you pounds, kilograms, and then the dose below in each weight section all the way up to adult. Have your band-aids for when you're done. You have your 21 gauge needle that you'll be injecting with have your alcohol prep pads which you'll cleanse the site with you have your one milliliter syringe and then finally you have your epinephrine two amps one to one thousand I'm gonna assume that our anaphylactic patient who's having respiratory difficulty is an adult um, anything over 66 pounds requires an adult dose of 0 0.3 milligrams. So I'll go ahead and go through the procedures of setting that up. All right, we start off by cleaning the prep site. And of course, by this time you've told your patient what you're gonna do, explain to them how it'll help them. You clean the prep site in a circular motion away from the injection. Make sure you have the correct medication. Make sure it's not expired. You want to open your equipment while keeping it clean. As you grab the medication from the kit, a lot of times there will be medication trapped at the top of the ampule. Give it a flick with your finger to get all the medication to the bottom of the ampule. That way you're not wasting any when you open it. Grip the ampule firmly, give it a good snap, and you've exposed the medication so you can draw. We have our syringe ready to go. We're going to give a 0 0.3 milligram dose to an adult. We've tried to keep it easy for you. We have a one milliliter syringe. It's labeled from 0 0.1 to 1.0 milliliters. Syringe. Place the syringe inside the ampule to the bottom. And then draw your medication. You'll notice an air bubble in the syringe. So I always draw a little past my dose. It's very common to have an air bubble to get the accurate dose. I'm gonna treat it just like the medication in the ampule. Just make sure get that air bubble up to the top and then push the syringe to your medication dose which again in our case is 0 0.3 and now we're ready to inject the medication. We're going to give it a pinch and twist. This turns the muscle fibers and ensures that the medication doesn't push back out. Pull back, make sure there's no blood and inject all the medication. Give them a band-aid, monitor vital signs, and repeat as necessary per protocol. You don't want to try to recap the needle. This has a safety mechanism. Slide across the tip, and now it is inoperable and the tip is covered. Still want to place it in the sharps container. Keep it safe for you and your crew.